Microsoft has retired few of the exams and they made the new version of the exams available. Let's see, you have the earlier exam 103 which is replaced with AZ104 but the name of the certification remains same but the content has been added that's the reason the new updated enhanced exam will measure more skills within Microsoft Azure world so that you get more knowledge will be tested so similarly AZ203 got updated with 204 so 203 is fully retired and AZ300 retired with AZ303 so if you look at here 301 which is retired with 304 so if you want to get a good certification let me show you the path of that so when you start uh, with Microsoft as you want you may have to look for AZ900 exam which is a fundamental exam but this is not a mandatory exam what it means is you can go back any of the exams starts from associate to expert level so if a person learn the fundamental exam or fundamental concepts that he has on Azure he can jump into Microsoft associated uh, targeted exams especially like AC 104 or 500 especially the core security or for the DevOps side 204 and now we are gonna talk about 303 or and 304 so these two exams if you write these two exams you're gonna get awarded as the Azure Solutions Architect Expert so you have to pass two of the certificates as I said uh, you have the two exams that needs to be passed then you would be getting a title called expert certification so what are the skills are measured within these two exams one would be the the first uh, five would be from the 303 that's a 303 exam specific which will implement and monitor Azure infrastructure implement management and security solutions also implement solutions for your applications and implement and manage data platforms what it means is most of the time if you look at we are actually talking about the implementation and then we are, are talking about the planning and designing side so this implementation and design will give you expert level of the certification with the Azure solutions expert so that you can create any Azure solutions either it can be any of the Azure solutions or Azure uh, services and also we will be touching little bit only the security solutions because if you look at here AZ500 exam will target most of the security in-depth concepts so let's jump into how the exam AZ303 has been designed it is basically designed into five core skills started with the close to 50 to 55 percentage of uh, the exam content or the course syllabus would be implement and monitor an Azure infrastructure and followed by the 25 to 30 percentage which is implement manage and security solutions and implement solutions for your applications and implement and manage data for your SQL data or any other data or like a storage all that data comes into the picture so these are uh, the five core areas if you see here um, as per the Microsoft documentation they talk about 50 to 55 but when I put on a pie chart and see the average it comes as a 48 26 13 and 13 so it's not that exact that percentage of the content you will be expected in the exams it could be you no know, sometimes go up and down a little bit so that's why uh, we can't say exact uh, number of the questions you get it on a specific uh, area of the skills method so we will begin with the implementation side and then uh, we will move further now if you look at the core infrastructure fundamentals we are going to learn about azure ad and virtual network storage 
and also we learn about the implementation side for the advanced topics like high availability automated deployments integrations with other Azure services and coming back to the security we do touch a little bit even though um, even though if you look at here the AZ 500 is a core exam for the security but we do have here a little bit of the secure security comes into the picture within the AZ 303 so we would uh, touch a little bit of Azure security in terms of the identity management and security fundamentals so that you know uh, when you're trying to implement and design uh, these concepts you should know the security concepts so we are going to touch that a little bit and for the monitoring so when you design and implement you should know how to use the monitoring for reporting or diagnostics specific logs or maybe for that matter alerts so you get some alerts on a specific metrics changes all that can be measured within this exam so we're gonna learn the, all these things I hope this is useful for you thank you for watching this